Well, uh, Heidi Ho, and welcome back to the channel. Um, this is probably like part four of a front end Dodge Charger noise. And uh, my friend Robert and I, I think we finally diagnosed what it was. Uh, originally, we jacked up the front lower control arm and had no noise, but we let the wheels hang. And I'll show you what we got going. So, last time I wiggled left or right, I didn't get anything, but now I'm getting a little play in the bearing. Both sides are about the same. Almost sounds like a loose rotor, but it's not. So when you change the left to right steering, especially in reverse, you get a snap. So I'm going to change out one of these hubs. Uh, hopefully both hubs I uh, got them both hopefully the right ones and we will continue and match the original wiggle test and matches the using quite a bit of force to get that noise and I get this dur -dur down the road and a reverse change of direction snap so I'm gonna take it apart so, uh, brake caliper, caliper assembly including bracket goes first we gotta take off this little bracket that holds uh, ABS and brake line uh, to get to the three bolts which uh, thread into the hub. All right, we got some new Moog hubs. We're gonna see if they match. The three holes, threaded holes, plus the thicknesses and studs seem to match up. Part number 513, uh, 325. We're gonna stick this on here and uh, see if, double check, make sure. All right, so uh, when replacing this uh, three bolt hub, you gotta ream it out with a half inch only because of rust and scale, I think. And uh, reason is that uh, these Moog uh, just didn't quite line up. The part number on this charger Moog is uh, 513325. So, in the process, I found these new Moog. Uh, been on since April. Uh, they are part number 1061831. Um, went defective on me. The This one was on the driver's side and it's got a good bit of play in it though it's hard to tell but it's at least a sixteenth this one has got a play in it too but only under extreme steering which I did with the car on the ground so two defects I don't know what I'm gonna do with them I'll order more and exchange them I guess I mean I put the OEM ones back on, so, yeah, unfortunately, uh, the OEM with 80,000 miles were better than these. So, so anyway, we replaced the, uh, the hubs with Moog also. This is the first time I've had Moog fail on me. Uh, but I replaced the hubs. Uh, the original hubs were not bad, but they did have 80,000. They, uh, they didn't have the play. It was these things. So, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and if you're new. And, again, thanks for watching. God bless.